All right, I'm gonna show you guys a little tricep, which is three exercises, but really based around being able to do dips still. Now, when I ruptured my supraspinatus, which is one of my rotator cuffs in my left shoulder, meaning it's ruptured, it's gone, I never got it fixed, there's certain movements I didn't know if I'd ever be able to do again. Now, I can do dips without a scaled band, but it's at a cost, right? If I want to do sets and supersets within my workout, it's easier if I scale them so it helps at the bottom just a little bit, take that stress off, but I can still get the action with the pec. So, I'll do a tricep of just a standing, like they call them scarecrows or rotator cuffs. I'll do 20 reps here. So, just really focusing on ro like rotating the joint not really lifting, but just making sure, I think of that ball and socket, I think about it just like rotating. So obviously I'm putting blood in that whole shoulder area there. Then you go to a banded arrow for rear delts and upper back. Now what I'll tell you about this is if I'm here and I'm just going, all I'm doing is trying to send as much blood into this as I can. So I'm here and I'm going, I'm just putting that blood right in that rear delt not allowing it to rest really. I'm keeping the tension on it that whole time. Okay, so I hit 20 there. So that's kind of preparing essentially this upper shoulder area just to be able to support the dip. Then I'll come in, this is kind of a, kind of an older mini band, so it doesn't got a ton of tension, but just a little bit. Then I'll go ahead and go. Even though I can do regular dips, I'll scale them like this so I can get that deep stretch. And then I'll hit my sets of 20. And I can just focus on getting that actual pec involved. Eight, eight, one. And that's a way that you can hopefully add those back in your workout still so you can get that nice sweep of the pec and not have to not do the exercise because of maybe a prior shoulder injury or something. Give it a try, thanks.